before you watch this haul, I'd recommend that you watch my video on sustainable fashion that I posted a few weeks ago because I talked a lot about thrifted and secondhand clothes as well as trying to avoid overconsumption. This is also a collective haul over the past couple of months and over the holidays. I just want to let you guys know that. I hope you enjoy. All right, so starting off with the pieces I got from eBay. Recently, I've been having really good luck on eBay, so I'm excited to share this with you guys. First up is this orange collared shirt dress that I found. I just thought it was really cool, unique. I also found something similar on Pinterest, so it was cool to find something that was like the same. And I also won this auction. I've never won an auction before, so that was exciting. Next up is this cool like mesh dragon top that is from ASOS, which is cool because although ASOS is fast fashion, I was able to get it secondhand, so I just thought that was really awesome and exciting. Then we've got this cool like oversized zip up. It's kind of expensive just for like a black zip up, but I've been looking for thrift one for such a long time and I just had not been able to find it, so I feel like it was worth it. I'll wear it all the time and it'll literally match with everything. Next up are these express pants and they're leather pants, really cool. They're a little low-waisted, but we're just gonna work with it. Then I got this really cool like women's blazer zip-up jacket. I don't really know what to call it, but it's got this really cool like kind of paisley bandana print and the colors are awesome. They're so cute just like with jeans or any like comfy kind of pants. Um, and then last but not least, I got this little like creamer and sugar set. They're the shape of cows. I think they're really cute. I love cows. I think it's worth every penny. All right, moving on to all my thrifted pieces. From a thrift store that I'd actually never been to, I found the first three books of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. They were a dollar a piece, which I was so excited to find. From Goodwill, I found these cool black and white sandals. They weren't exactly what I was looking for. I was hoping to find some platforms, but I think they're really cute and they were like $5, so I feel like it was worth it. Then from another new thrift store that I went to, I found this ring. It was $2, kind of funky, kind of cool. All right, this dress, are you kidding me? It's literally was $3.50 and it's my favorite piece of clothing I've ever owned. Next up, I found this cool like mint eyes crew neck which i just thought was really cute and comfy um i found this really cool it's like the double zipper kind of sweaters it's just black so i feel like it goes with everything but i'm obsessed with it then i found this cool like quarter zip fleece but it's got this like funky kind of like weird print i don't know i'm obsessed with it then this shirt i hate how i styled it but i feel like it's like a cover-up for like a bathing suit or something it would be really cute it's got that kind of like sheer look i don't know i really liked it then i found this black puffer vest which i was so excited about it was only like five dollars and just like throwing over any hoodie so cool i've been loving vests recently all right, so from Etsy, I actually got a gift card for Christmas, so I treated myself to a bunch of fun jewelry. First up are these really cool dice earrings. Really quickly, the seller wasn't great. Wouldn't necessarily recommend buying from them. Just a little disclaimer. Um, this really cool dragon ring, the seller was fantastic. It took a little while to ship because I think it was from Turkey, but they were so nice. They also sent me another like little snake ring as like a free gift, but look how cool that is. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cool. And next up, I got this like cuff kind of. It's like these handcuff earrings. They're really cute. Honestly, they were a little bit smaller than I expected, but I still really like them. And I got them in silver, as you can obviously tell. Then I got these little like lock earrings, which I wear literally every single day. I think they're really, really cute and just like basic, fun, whatever. This beautiful like Cuban link, I think is what it's called. Bracelet, fantastic. I love it. Would recommend buying from them. This is so cool. I got it as like kind of a pinky ring, so I got it in a smaller size, but it's this like skull cutout ring. So, so cool. I'm obsessed with like the thick kind of rings. I don't know. And then the smiley face ring was really, really inexpensive and cute. I feel like you guys have seen it all over Instagram and she was selling it for $5 plus shipping, so I'd recommend buying from her. Now moving on to all the pieces that I've made over the past couple of months. First up, I just took this rib tank top and then cut out the little letters to spell Dior and sewed it on there. I just thought that was kind of a cool little flip. Then I tie-dyed this like heart design on this shirt, although I still want to kind of like take it in on the sides and crop it just so it's like a little bit more fitted as I'm kind of like showing you in this little clip. Then this top I actually made from some like faux leather leggings that I thrifted and just used the fabric to make this cool like halter top. Um, then this zebra print top, I made out of like a pillowcase. I don't really love the fabric, but it was one of like my earlier sewing projects, but I thought I would include it. And then I did some little shirring in the back just so it's like fits and it's like stretchy. And finally we have this patchwork vest that I made out of a bunch of like old jeans and old denim and stuff like that. I love how it turned out. It's probably my favorite things I've ever made. Here's some little behind the scenes stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this video. See you guys next time.